being raised in the South, everything was deep fat fried or smothered in gravy. All I know how to cook is good deep fat fried good stuff. Julie and Ezra are going to have their work cut up for them. Oh, give it me It tastes a like break. the smell of dirty clothes. <laughs> it does. I'm Ezra, the chef. For me, taste is everything. Flavor comes first. I'm Julie, the nutritionist. I'm all about making it healthy. You gotta call it for your health. Maybe pasta? Pasta. In Italian food? It has to go. The fat is out of control. Who cooks under these circumstances? We're here with the Real Women Anglers, an all-female group of fisherwomen. Starting the Fly Fishing Club a number of years ago, it's just been incredible that we travel together, we fish together, we eat together. So oh, it is lunchtime. Must be Kathy's turn to cook. I can hear the grease crackling. <laughs> y'all know y'all love it. Kathy, one of the members, cooks really unhealthy food. String bean casserole with fried onions, a little bit of corn pudding, a little bit of fried fish, and oh, some good old hush puppies. Kathy's cooking is always um, an experience. I prefer to use canned vegetables because they're a lot easier to transport. Kathy is a fabulous gal. Typical southern lady. I love to cook for lots of people. I love my deep fat fryer. Being raised in the south, everything was deep fat fried or smothered in gravy. And if it's not that way, I don't consider it cooked. That's basically all I know how to cook is good deep fat fried good stuff. Unfortunately, she likes to share this love of hers with us. And we're all getting to the age that it's wreaking a little havoc on our bodies. They pick at me about it all the time, that they love the fish and they love the way it tastes and they love that it's deep fried. How yeah, offended would you be if I passed, just passed it on? <laughs> it's become harder and harder for me personally to enjoy her cooking. I've started to eat cleaner. I've started to eat in a more healthy fashion. I find fried food and fatty, sugary food doesn't make me feel very good. It makes me kind of tired. I want to have a nap. I actually felt ill after eating it. I ended up with a headache. I had to lie down for a little while. I think the girls love my cooking. I think they love the flavor. I think they love the texture. And I think that they just love having a little bit of the South. Um, and that's basically how I cook. And I end up cooking most of the times so we're out. She's an amazing woman. And she is so generous in what she does for us. But the food is is not enjoyable. This is what I know, so <laughs> it's hard to get away from something that you know. Oh, these look so good. Well, I'm really looking forward to the arrival of Julie and Ezra because um, I haven't really told any of the group, Kathy in particular, what we're planning on doing. So we're planning it to be a little like an intervention. Blindsiding them, yes I am, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, oh. hi. Oh, well, there's a couple of people that I invited over. Um, this is Ezra and Julie. And Kathy, it's kind of like an intervention because Ezra is a chef. Oh, and Julie's a nutritionist. And oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Kathy is cooking fast food in every sense of the word. We're having um, catfish. We've got hush puppies. What are they? Exactly. Hush puppy is fried dough. Um, <laughs> the catfish they're really is deep good. fried. Yeah. The, the catfish is deep fried. Yeah, it's oh, really good. Okay. A little worried about that fryer. Deep fryer. Then we have a string bean casserole with fried onions. So do you want a double yes, portion? <laughs> you seven servings a day, right? Can I be honest that that is the scariest meal I've eaten in a very long time? <laughs> you got the grease on the top of your mouth yet? Oh, yeah, she nice. has never had any of this. Suck it down with sweet tea, it's good. <laughs> the funniest part for me was watching Julie taste this food. Because Julie lives in her little organic bubble. Girls don't like it too sweet, so I put about a cup and a half of sugar in that. It's really good. <laughs> now you see why I had to invite two people here. <laughs> Our Kathy needs help. I was taken back a little bit with an intervention. I never cook with a lot of fat. The sodium I have some real difficulty with. It is a little over the top for me. I personally love carnival food. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little shocked by the girls that uh, they didn't hold back on me, which was probably a good thing. I can barely eat it, I have to be honest. I am probably the one in this group that is the happiest to see you two. <laughs> I was just really shocked. I didn't expect to have them 
critique it the way that they did. I thought that they really enjoyed it. Everyone's had their say. Are you feeling mm. a little bruised? Are you okay? I thought they liked it because this is what I'm used to cooking. Sure. Um, we really do need to focus on something a little bit healthier. And I can understand that. But just, you know, getting the lard out of my hands is going to be a hard thing. <laughs> and that, you know. She took it in good stead. I mean, she saw it as an opportunity to learn. Hormone balance is another thing I'm thinking about. Depending on how much fried food you're eating, it might be creating a little more heat. You know, can you get rid of the hot flashes? <laughs> you can pull back the hot flashes by changing up the oils there that you're go. eating. Because we Kathy's can balance interested. your hormones. Now I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great opportunity to change Kathy's ways and teach her a new way of cooking. That woman needs to get the deep fryer into a garage sale. A deep fryer has its place. It has a place in the museum called Nutrition Hell. Julie, if you had it your way, we wouldn't be seasoning with salt. Oh, come on. I would use some sea salt. It's just the fact that we're not going to whiten everything like it's snowing in the middle of summer. And for these women with hot flashes, we've got to completely get rid of the fried. Completely. Like, I mean, no hush puppies. I'm sorry. You can't be healthy gourmet with a fryer. It's a constant negotiation with Julie to find the balance between taste, which I really, really have to fight for, and her side, which is nutrition. I find it fascinating at how much we can bicker about what we're using. And yet, truly, there is a marriage of flavor and health. It can happen. What's your favorite part of the meal that you cooked? Probably the crunch, the texture. So what if we were able to get that crunch mm -hmm. without deep frying? <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic concept. <laughs> I'm open for suggestions, yeah. absolutely. Our plan today is for Julie to catch as many fish <laughs> as she can. Or we're gonna star. I love right? that. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna finish it in a tomato fennel sauce. Okay. We'll serve it with some polenta and grilled corn. Okay. How are we going to get the substance and the crunchiness and that, I, that I'm used to having when I throw something in the fryer? Okay, we have our shopping list? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. All right. Sure. I think that she will be truly open to, to whatever they suggest. Whether or not she'll enjoy it in the end, I, I don't know. Hopefully Julie is... They're out catching us lunch. She exactly. She's catching us some lunch. <laughs> it's totally there. Look how much she's bending. Oh, so I guess we're gonna start off with fresh produce today. Starting with fresh. Everything's yeah, gonna be made. Uh, everything's made with fresh. You cooked with canned corn, Absolutely. but it's so sweet, so delicious. Why not use the fresh stuff? Kathy needs to know that there's beautiful, fresh, local ingredients in every local supermarket, and those are the vegetables that she should gravitate towards. I sure hope Julie's catching us some fish. If, we, if she ain't, we ain't gonna eat. What we gonna eat? I had never tried fishing. Well, I tried it when I was like 11 with my dad in a boat. But to fly fish, it's so meditative and relaxing. I could see myself being part of the club. I didn't realize when Julie approached me to teach her how to fish that we actually had to catch something because Ezra is out shopping and he isn't buying any fish. It says so that we need fennel. I don't even know what fennel is. Another name for it is anise. Watch your language. <laughs> Okay. It's gonna taste really good with fish. Fennel and fish together, ridiculous. Why don't we move down about six steps because you're getting caught on the same... Oh, oh, oh! oh. That definitely felt like something. It definitely was something. It was something. <laughs> it was a nibble. Oh, A nibble, but he okay. went away. Do that again. All right, all right. Hopefully Julie is... They're out catching us lunch. She better be catching us some lunch. <laughs> I think it's still there. It's totally there. Look how much it's bending. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, for fresh fish. Mm -hmm. Clear eyes. Okay. 